I want to bring in former Reagan economist Art Laffer. I was going to talk to you about cutting taxes and health care, etc., etc. Now I want to talk to you about what's going on on Wall Street at this moment. Dow futures show a gain of about 100 points of the opening bell because we hear Janet Yellen will unwind the bond holdings at the Federal Reserve, and the market apparently likes that. Is that why we're saying? Do you like this idea? Yeah, I like it very much. They never should have done quantitative easing one, two, or three, or Operation Twist. And unwinding it will make it all better, at least a lot better than it otherwise would have been. And I think she's finally doing the right thing, and uh, it should be very bullish for the U.S. Uh, Stuart, interest rates that are very, very low are bad for the economy. You know, when you have a robust economy, interest rates reflect the future expected return on a unit of capital over the time period of the instrument. And you can't have low returns and a good economy. And so, therefore, interest rates just have to go up to reflect the future prospects of a better economy. Let me ask you about this possible deal. High taxes on wealthy people stay within Obamacare. Taxes and tax rates are cut for wealthier people and businesses under tax reform. That's the makings of a deal. You with it? Uh, you know, deals are deals in Congress. Obviously, the 3.8 percent tax that is included in Obamacare and the 0.9 percent add-on uh, forever is they are the two worst taxes in Obamacare, and they are now saying they're going to keep those to pay for the other stuff. You know, if that's what it takes to get a deal, that's what it takes. Thanks exactly. gods I'm not exactly. in politics. That's, I hate it, that stuff. But, but if that's what it takes. But it's wrong anything, because... But anything is better than nothing. Aunt. No, I, 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 Look, I'm with you, Stuart. It disgusts me to the very core of my being because that 3.8 percent, if you removed it, you'd collect a lot more revenues than you would keeping that tax, but not according to the stupid pay-for static accounting model that these yahoos have. So therefore, they think it's a good pay for. But, but it's you, not. But if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. And I vote for it if they push me to the wall. We want you to come back <laughs> at 930 when the market opens. And I'm going to ask you, how big a rally would we have if we got a deal on cutting taxes? I'll ask you that question at 930. Answer it it's later, a, OK? It's a deal. <laughs> we'll Thank see you, you shortly. Sir. And then we have Bernie Sanders. Critical of the Republicans' health reform bill. What is Bernie Sanders saying? He's saying nine times more people who died in 9 11 will die under the GOP health care reform bill. He linked health reform to 9 11? Yes. And so it's, by the way, he's using studies that are not set in stone, they're questionable, to equate policy changes to the country's deadliest attack. 9-11 on, on our shores, uh, absent Pearl Harbor. So what, basically, he, he didn't ask how people in New York City, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania felt about this comparison. The second thing, he used an outdated Harvard 2014 study to use those numbers to talk about the recent Senate GOP bill, and he overstated the number of people who would but it's supposedly a, die under it. The bottom line is it's extreme language. Yeah. It's like Senator Tim it's Kaine saying language. it's treason. And, right, right, and he wa here's what he wants. He wants single payer. Of course. And he has to bring up how many vets were hurt by the VA de, uh, wait times, right? I mean, the VA IG said hundreds of thousands of vets, they found stalled records, and those vets had passed away uh, in, at the VA, uh, waiting for the VA care. He wants single payer. He wants single payer. That's what he's doing. That's it. But this, it. Is out of, this is out of control. <laughs> we're expecting some fireworks when the president's nominee for FBI director testifies later uh, this hour. Uh, question, will the Democrats make this hearing all about Russia, Russia, Russia? Answer, probably yes. Yes. Looks like Amazon will open above $1,000 a share. Big sales numbers from Prime Day. Not official, speculative, but big numbers nonetheless. We're on it. After more than 20 years, you can now join Angie's List for free. That means everyone has access to our real reviews that we actually verify. And we can also verify that what goes down doesn't always come back up. So if you need a great plumber, find one at Angie's List. Join today for free, because your home is where our heart is.
media moguls, tech titans, whitewater rafting, the Sun Valley Conference, where CEOs hold court and deals get done. Starting today on Fox Business Network. Brought to you by Wisdom Tree. To learn more, visit wisdomtree.com. I'm Chuck Hughes. I was a pilot for 36 years. As my wife and I approach retirement, I worried about outliving our money. So I started trading from home with just $4,600. Within two years, using my own unique strategy, I made over $460,000 in profits. That has now grown to an account that produces $50,000 a month in cash income for my family. And now, in my new book, I show you exactly how I trade. I reveal everything, even copies of my brokerage statements. Chuck just won his eighth international trading championship, outperforming the competition by over 100%. And if you call or go online now and just cover shipping, you can get Chuck's new book, Trade Like Chuck, for free. Act now and you'll also receive a free copy of Chuck's Retirement Cash-Up Plan DVD. Call 1-800-294-9505 or go to tradelikechuck.com now to get your free book and DVD. That's 1-800-294-9505 or tradelikechuck.com. There are lots of words to describe it. Muffin tops, spare tire, love handles. Trust me, there is nothing to love about those. Introducing new Lean 13 from Nutrisystem. Lose up to 13 pounds at 7 inches overall in your first month. Lose weight fast. Money back guaranteed. No fads, no gimmicks. I'm Marie and I lost 50 pounds on Nutrisystem. My belly fat, gone. Order your 28-day plan right now. With Lean 13, you'll get specially designed meals, plus one week of new NutriCrush Bar to crush cravings free and one week of turbo shakes to bust belly bloat free bye bye stubborn belly fat call or go online in the next two minutes and we'll even throw in fedex shipping free lose up to 13 pounds and seven inches overall your first month millions of people have lost weight on nutrisystem and you can too say goodbye to your belly fat pick up the phone call now go online or call 877-925-THIN right now and get new lean 13 with bars and shakes free Adding up the Trump economy. From the White House's agenda to Wall Street's reality, Neil and Trish get must-see insight. Then, market reaction to Yellen's testimony. Liz has instant analysis on Countdown. It's all part of our midday lineup today. It's Wednesday morning, and you're going to see a rally when that market opens 15 minutes from now. We're looking at at least a 100-point gain, a nice gain for the NASDAQ, too, and also the S&P 500. More on that in a moment. Do look at Facebook. That stock's very close to record territory. At 156, that's pre-market. I think that is a record for the stock, maybe intraday or whatever. But look, 156 on Facebook. Here's the story. It plans to build a social housing village in Silicon Valley. Ashley? Yes, by 2021, 1,500 apartments. Facebook says this has to be done. 640,000 jobs have been created in the Silicon Valley in the last 10 years, but there's no housing to meet uh, ah. that flood of people coming in. So they're going to build these Facebook homes, apartments. They're going to be quite pricey. Only 15% of them will be below what would be the average market price. Uh, they're available to Facebook employees. Um, and as I say, they're going to be in place by 2021. They say this is a step that's necessary because there's just no housing. I don't think that's why the stock is up. I mean, no. That's, that's not no. a big enough development. No. But it's interesting, isn't it's it? It's very interesting. Company-run housing for company employees. Yep. What was that song, I sold my soul to the company store? Is Sounds that... like Johnny Cash, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like me to remember a song, yeah, yeah, yeah. but there you are. <laughs> we are going to open up on Facebook. We are going to go opening up on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Let me give you a little bit more on why the market is going to open so strongly. Maybe investors think that there is nothing to do with uh, the uh, pre president's growth agenda. Uh, this uh, the uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s uh, email chain. Maybe the market thinks there's nothing in that will, which will unseat the presidency. But more important is what Janet Yellen is going to say around 10 o'clock Eastern time this morning. She's going to say they're going to unwind their huge holdings of bonds. That means they're going to sell them. That should probably raise interest rates. And that she also says that we'll be raising interest rates gradually and that will continue. Investors seem to love it. We're going to be up close to 100 points at 21,465. Okay, no, up about 100 points. Now, President Trump is mm. here's another factor. Reportedly unlikely to nominate Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen to another term. 
Now we're hearing the National Economic Council director, Gary Cohn, is the president's yeah. top candidate to replace her. This, this mm. comes from Politico. If this yeah. is true, be the first non-economist to run the Federal Reserve since the 70s. And Gary Cohn was spearheading the effort to search for Janet Yellen's replacement. It's kind of like what Dick Cheney led the search for vice president for George W., and then he became vice president. So, yeah. you know, this would be a really interesting development if it's Gary Cohn. Liz hey. Peake is with us. Fiscal Times lady. Now, Gary Cohn as Fed chair... That sounds like good news for investors because he's very much part of the Trump growth plan. He is, but it's controversial, certainly, because he's a longtime Democrat right. and that part too. of the swamp, <laughs> some people think, that it was supposed mm -hmm. to be cleared. Uh, you know, the big knock against him is he doesn't have a Ph.D. in economics, to be honest. I think that is, like, the less, least of his problems. I mean... The Fed has for 10 years been wrong on every single economic forecast. This is actually a fact. Yes. Uh, so I really don't give them enormous credit for having, you know, sort of ultra wisdom and sort of the policies going forward. But the big thing is, is politics here. And I think I think he will run into some resistance and conservatives will not be happy. Yeah, but, you oh, know, okay. uh, I've got, got to go to a break. You know what yeah. it is? In a hard break, oh, you have to they'll cut me off if I keep going. Uh, so <laughs> no, I'm not going to keep going. That. I'm going to tell you that the Dow is going to open up 90 points and we'll be back. Ahead of the curve every business day. What a wild week for stocks. We're staying on top of the story. Watch After the Bell, weeknights at 4, only on Fox Business Network. As we live longer and markets continue to rise and fall, predictable is one thing you need in retirement. Introducing Bright House Financial, a new company established by MetLife to specialize in annuities and life insurance. With the Home Advisor app, it's easy and free to find home pros for any project. From a simple repair to a major remodel. Tell them what you need and get connected to top-rated local pros. Start your next project with Home Advisor. Tired of all that scrubbing to get your grill clean? Old-fashioned barbecue grill brushes get grimy when used. Bristles can fall out contaminating food and potentially causing serious health problems. There has to be a better way. Introducing Chargon, the Grill Pros Grill Cleaner. Designed for safe and easy grill cleaning, Chargon cleans the top, sides, and bottom of every grill rod safely with ease. Chargon works on any barbecue with round grill rods. Simply slide Chargon directly over any grill rod to clean the top and sides, then rotate to clean the bottom. It works every time. Chargon is dishwasher safe, performance tested, and guaranteed for 500 cleanings, making it the last grill cleaner you'll ever need. Through this introductory TV offer, you can bring the convenience and peace of mind of Chargon to your grill for the incredibly low price of $24.95. We cleaned this grill with an old-fashioned grill brush. The brush was bulky and didn't clean the hard to reach areas. Chargon was able to reach every angle of each grill rod, easily cleaning with the brush left behind. Chargon is incredible. Now I can clean every grill rod completely and I don't have to waste time washing a grimy brush afterwards. Unlike grill cleaning brushes, Chargon is constructed with the finest stainless steel. Its patented angled tip and contoured sides allow for safe cleaning of hot or cold grills, never contaminating your food with wire bristles. Built like a tank, cleans like a genie. Dump the old grill brush. It's Chargon for my family. Chargon's guaranteed for 500 cleanings is dishwasher safe and will never rust. We left this wire bristle brush and Chargon outside for a week. The grill brush was destroyed while Chargon stayed rust-free. Don't put yourself or your family at risk by using outdated bristle grill brushes. Say goodbye to rust, unsafe, broken, or caked on bristles. Call now and get Chargon, the Grill Pros cleaner for the all-time low price of $24.95. But if you call right now, you'll get a $5 instant savings. The Chargon will be yours for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Order your Chargon now at Chargon.com. That's C-H-R-G-O-N.com. Call 1-800-246-9203. That's 1-800-246-9203. Or go online to Chargon.com. Ladies and gentlemen, ever wish the bags under your eyes would just go away? If that sounds like you every morning, you're not alone. Eyes can look younger and in much less time than you think. Introducing Genucel from Chamonix. And now with Genucel immediate effects, these results happen in as little as 12 hours. Now you can fight back against bags and puffiness that make you look older and more tired. If I can look a little fresher, a little more awake, younger, I mean, why not? I look younger, fresher, more awake. Now, during the Genucel giveaway, you get a month's supply of Genucel free with your order. This amazing offer is backed by Chamonix's 100% risk-free 60-day money-back guarantee. But you only need 12 hours to see the results. And for DirecTV customers only, order now and get Chamonix Spa Quality Microdermabrasion Treatment absolutely free. Call in the next 10 minutes and shipping is also free. 
To take advantage of this amazing offer, call 1-800-691-6776 or go to GenuCell200.com. Call now. A few minutes from now, the Senate Judiciary Committee takes up the nomination of Christopher Wray to be the next FBI director. Joining us now is Senator John Kennedy, Republican, Louisiana, and a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Senator, I suspect this is all going to be about Russia, Russia, Russia. Am I right? Probably, unfortunately. Um, I hope it'll be more about uh, Mr. Ray's qualifications. I can tell you, uh, I spent a long time last night looking at his record. I can tell you what I want in a new FBI director. I've used this expression before, but I think it's appropriate. I want an apolitical cross between Socrates and Dirty Harry. <laughs> I, I, want, I want a director who's not interested in politics. I want a director, this is the Socrates part, who has a little wisdom, who understands the massive power of the FBI and, and will use it in a fair manner. At the same time, I want somebody who's tough as a, as a, as a three dollar steak. I mean, that is just willing when, the, when he, he figures out who the bad guys are, he'll go after them. Doesn't care what their politics are. Now, I realize that ideal doesn't exist, but I'd like to try to come close to it because in the past two years, the FBI, through no fault of the rank and file, has become politicized. And that's not good for the American people. They've got to have confidence in the FBI. Uh, Mr. Senator, you have a way with words, and we hope to hearing mm. from you later on today. But I've got another question. Sure. The, the, the Donald Jr. Trump distraction, is right. that going to get in the way of tax and health reform? It looks like it will. What do you say? Well, it does. I mean, it, it, it's all the... I'm not saying that it's not an, an, an issue, because it clearly is. But that's all the press wants to talk about. Um, present company excluded. There are other important I issues as well, and, and you know what they are. Look, the president fired the FBI director. That's his right as president. He didn't fire the FBI. And the FBI is going to get to the bottom of all of this, the Russian involvement in the election, who, if anyone, conspired with the Russian government, whether they broke any laws. If they did, they'll be held accountable. But in the meantime, all this other stuff is just a, it's a sideshow. It's a circus without a tent. It, you know, I mean, I understand why some members of the media want to report it, and I understand, you know, market share and all of that, but gosh, I think health care and tax reform and infrastructure and the budget and appropriations and the national flood insurance bill and, and the defense uh, 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 appropriations are at least as important as who the president's son met with. I'm not saying we shouldn't investigate. We should, but it's not the only issue out there. And I can tell you one thing, when American, mo American moms and dads lie down at night and worry, they're not worried about this. They're worried about their health care and their jobs and their retirement. As I said before, we hope to hear a lot more from you later on today. Senator Thanks, Kennedy, sir. Louisiana. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Charlie Gasparino, our own FBN, talking to the Verizon CEO. Listen to this. Well, Verizon Disney, possible? Just no, one? not going to happen. Nope. And you're not going to make a move for it. Nope. Not even to, to take it over. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So there was some speculation that Verizon would take over Disney or buy it. Uh, that's been scotched. Not going to happen. Nope. This is a dopey idea. Okay. For here's why. <laughs> Ver Verizon's market value is 173 billion. <laughs> to buy Disney, according to Wells Fargo, they'd have to pay $190 billion because you have to pay a premium. I mean, Verizon already took on a boatload of debt in the Vodafone deal, $130 billion in debt they're still working through. And I, I think that it would be better to hook up with Comcast. Okay, well, it's not right? going to happen. It's not so going to happen. You, you Don't be a little happen. grumpy, apparently. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> well, I should be Don't happy be after Amazon Prime happy. Day. <laughs> this <laughs> never holds back. Is that very clear? <laughs> never holds back. Forgive me. All right, we're going to take a commercial break, but then we're going to take you to Wall Street, where you are going to see a rally. You're going to like it. Back in a moment. <laughs> FoxBusiness.com, your portal to all the business information you need. Access all of our exclusive content, including shows, market news, tweets, live radio, and podcasts. Monaco Rare Coins is excited to announce an incredible gold hoard discovery of the most beautiful gold coin ever minted. These St. Gaudens $20 gold double eagles are stunning coins commissioned by President Theodore Roosevelt, the original Rough Rider himself. 
I've been in this business for 30 years, and this is one of the most exciting hoards that I've come across. And it happens to be of the most beautiful coin ever minted in the United States. When you hold a St. Gaudens in your hand, it's little wonder that they copied this coin and made the American Eagle. This hoard consists of 1908 no mottos, all original mint condition coins directly from European bank vaults. In other words, they've never been owned before. With gold and rare coin prices soon expected to rise, this may be an ideal time to acquire these certified rarities at our amazingly low, low price. Call Monaco Rare Coins now for complete details. Call 1-800-996-9157. That's 1-800-996-9157. Own a piece of history. Call Monaco now. Imagine a communications network where we send a signal to an airplane, and that airplane would be linked to other aircraft with the goal of creating a fully meshed network in the sky. Once developed, such a network could be the most cost-effective and practical solution to the world's connectivity needs. The potential bandwidth and reach of such a network far surpasses what's available today. Imagine the possibilities. Airborne Wireless Network, redefining global connectivity. So you love barbecue grilled taste, but hey, cleaning that grate, does your fish stick? veggies fall through the bars and flare up to leave your food charred. Hey, Eric Beast here for the Copper Chef Grill Mat. The incredible nonstick grill mat that makes outdoor grilling easier. Look, perfect grill marks every time. Nothing ever falls through the gap. You can grill and even saute veggies without them falling through the great barbecue perfect fish that never sticks. The secret is the Copper Chef's nonstick grill tech design. It transfers heat for perfect grill marks while it closes the gaps so nothing falls through. Everyone loves grilled cheeseburgers, but the burnt cheese can ruin a grill. Nothing sticks to the Copper Chef grill mat. Even burnt cheeseburger cheese comes right off. And don't waste your base through an open grate. The Copper Chef grill mat keeps your marinades and sauces on your food. Now watch this, you can even fry an egg, sausage, bacon, ham and eggs, right off the grill. It's even great for public grills. Now you can grill at the park and never touch that filthy grate. Cleanup's a breeze, and it's dishwasher safe. So stop scraping that char on the grill. With the Copper Chef nonstick grill mat, you'll always leave a mark, but you'll never leave a mess. Call or go online now and order your grill-sized nonstick Copper Chef grill and bake mat for only $19.99. Plus, we'll give you a second grill and bake mat that's perfectly suited for bakeware. Cookies and treats fly off this sheet. Bake a cake and the pan stays spotless. They're backed by our 60-day money-back guarantee. But wait, order now and we'll double the offer and give you a second grill size mat plus a second bake size mat as a free bonus with your paid order. Plus, we're going to add free shipping. And that's not all. You can add this Copper Chef square pan skillet. Just pay processing and handling. This super strong square pan gives you 25% more room to cook more food. Plus, there's a stainless steel induction plate. And it's made with Ceramitex, so nothing sticks. Altogether, it's a $75 value, yours for just $19.99. Order now. It's beginning right now. The Senate Judiciary Committee holds a hearing on the confirmation of Christopher Wray as the next FBI director. They're just getting underway. They'll gavel to order shortly. You'll see part of this. Mm. The opening bell is going to ring in about six seconds, and you're going to see a rally right from the get-go. Three, two, one, boom, off we go. It's 9.30 Eastern time. It is Wednesday morning, and we're up. 63 points. Do I hear an advance? Yes, six, 77, 78 points, 79 points, 80. 82 <laughs> points. 90. Buy something, somebody, because uh, uh, 89, here we go. Well, it's a rally, modest, no, that's not modest no, at all. That's a, it's a rally. solid rally, thank yeah. you. 90. And we have 91. 26 of the Dow 30 in the green, that means they're up. Now we're up 90 points, almost at 21,500. 21, We've just hit it. That means we're, what, about 50 points away from the yes. all-time high? Could have an intraday Thanks. high today. Incredible. We'll see. Uh, the price of oil is way up this morning. A dollar higher at 46. The Saudis reportedly will cut August oil exports to the lowest level this year. Mm -hmm. How about the 10-year Treasury? The yield is 2.31%. That's down from yesterday. Very interesting. All right, Amazon, maybe the stock of the day, certainly the week. $1,001 per share in the very early going this morning, up 8 bucks. It likely generated...
close to a billion dollars in sales in the Prime Day sale. A lot more on that coming up. We'll get back to it shortly. I want to tell you who we've got on the panel. A loaded screen. Look oh. at that. Okay. <laughs> Ashley Webster, Elizabeth McDonald, Elizabeth Peak, Art Laffer, D.R. Barton. All of them oh. with us this Wednesday morning. Ooh. And what do we have? We've got a 106-point rally. <laughs> I like it. Art Laffer, here's the question I promised to ask when the market opened. It's this. How much higher would we be going if we were to announce, or the Congress announced, that they've got a deal on cutting taxes? I think we'd be a lot higher. You know, I'm breaking my arm, patting myself on the back, but, you know, we have been going through a long period here, Stuart, as you and I have been doing on the show, and this market has a long, long way to go. It's, it's not at its peak. Uh, it's been rising for quite a while since the election, since before the election, and uh, we have a long way to go because we've been run down so far, but a tax cut, dropping that corporate rate to 15 percent would send this economy and this stock market to the moon okay. and uh, we and it's going to happen Stuart. it may not happen this year but it is going to happen in the next six seven years all right dr barton same question if we got a deal on taxes within obamacare and within tax reform how high would this market go well, Stuart, we have, a, I, I find myself agreeing with Art uh, this time that we, we have a lot more upside to go. We've had a lot of broad participation in this rally as we've moved up. We had the tech stocks pull back. Now they're playing catch up and, and again. So what I see is with that tax reform, if we can get off of all of the potential things with, uh, with Trump, Trump Jr., and get people focused back on that, I think we'll see some more upside. Hmm. Yellen's dovish comments this morning certainly helped as well, Stuart. Okay, uh, look on the left-hand side of the screen is Facebook. That's a new all-time high, 156.67 as we speak, up a buck 40. Liz Peake, don't want to leave you out on this. If we got a deal on taxes within Obamacare, within tax reform, how high does the market go? I, I, clearly the market's going to go higher if we get that. And I think it's ama the amazing news is the market continues to move up with all these distractions, with Congress appearing to be completely logged jammed, et cetera. So I think we're going to see progress, and I think that will be monumental for the stock market. Monumental? I do. I mean, I really, look, we're, nice all word. this is on the come. Uh, investors want to see progress, and I think we will. I yeah. think that there's, uh, you know, too much negativity about where we are right now. Well, right now we're up 116 points. That's 21,525. I can't do the math in my head, but we're pretty close to an all-time we high. Yeah. We'll keep on it. Yeah. I want to bring in more on Amazon. Ashley, I, I want to get yeah. back to that. Uh, did you did you buy anything? I didn't. You did. I didn't either. Liz, did no. you? I, I, yes, yes, you did. I did. A dozen did. things. You bought eight I was things. looking for that electronic spatula. I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Miss P, did you buy I anything? didn't. But here's the thing. Electronic What's really spatula. so smart about this Prime Day? It's not about sales. It's about lining up more Prime members, and Prime members tend to yes. spend at least twice as much as other people yes. on Amazon. So it's huge for them. I just want to bring this in. I just my producer just said this in my ear. Amazon Prime members bought seven times more echo did you say yes the that's echo right speaker? the echo devices seven times more echo than devices than in the previous years the prime than last year than last year I bought one. seven times more because, because you bought one i bought the echo dot they should call it dotty not alexa but, but yes wait, i did buy that. that's a wonderful Dobby. move by amazon yes it yeah. hooks people in it and that's ecosystem. what this is all about it's not yeah. about the sales they got on prime day more prime members yeah. more prime members ordering more easily yeah. I mean, it's an unbelievably winning formula. It's a very and genius. big story. It's genius right. marketing. D.R. Really Barton, is. would you buy Amazon at $1,003 a share? I love Amazon for the long term. It's something you've got to have in your portfolio, Stuart. You know me. I like buying it on a pullback, uh, not when it's making, uh, you know, up here mm. touching new all-time highs. I think for the next year, two years, three years, every time you get, you know, a 5 to 10 percent pullback in the stock, that you've got to buy it and have it in your portfolio. Prime Day was huge. I was all over it yesterday, Stuart. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Art Laffer, um, is Amazon the most powerful company in America? Oh, I thought it was a section of Brazil, to be honest with you. No, it, 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 is, it is an amazing company, and it's something that I admire enormously, Stuart. And I think it's part and parcel of the whole process of uh, making America great again, and I love Amazon. Okay, don't forget, Amazon's high is $1,017. It's at $1,003 right now. Pretty close. You should have bought on the dip yesterday. Yeah, yeah you should have bought the dip. Okay. Visa <laughs> has a deal for restaurants. They'll pay to upgrade a restaurant's payment equipment 
only if the restaurant stops accepting cash. Yeah, it's all part of their uh, campaign to push cash out of business. I mean, Ooh. clearly, they don't want... If you're a, reta if you're a restaurant or, or a business that wants to take on this visa upgrade, of which they'll spend $10,000 uh, on the upgrade, um, they will... Uh, the, the deal is you can't accept cash. Well, that's how, a tricky deal, isn't it? How can oh, they check on that? Yeah, how do they check on that? Good question. Very, well, I guess, this, I guess they have yeah. to verify that you don't have anything in place that allows you to take in cash, which seems a bit odd, doesn't it? <laughs> that they, means they, they call it the, 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 the journey to cashless is what the program is called. It, it excludes a lot of people, though, yes. doesn't it? Yes, it who, sure who, does. I mean, who may not have yeah. perfect credit rating or a perfect credit card or whatever. I think that's a weird... I like to pay in cash. It's What's weird. It is weird. It yeah. is <laughs> weird. I mean, I'm sorry. I just think yeah. that's weird. All right. Dow Industrial is <laughs> now up 102. <laughs> what are you laughing at? This? <laughs> I'm not cash. weird. You the story are, is no, weird. You are funny. <laughs> the Dow's up 126 points, 21,535 as Still we speak. Going. Now, recent IPOs trading near or below their offering price. Take a look now at Snap mm -hmm. at $15 a share. No comeback from yesterday's drop, really. Blue Apron a little further down, $7.12 per share. Art Laffer doesn't seem to me like a very good time for companies to go public. What say you? Oh, I think it's getting close to the right time for them to go public, but you're in the nascent stages of a very serious long-term bull market. And uh, if they need the capital, it's a good market to come public in. But if they don't, it's probably not the right time to do it. It's not a time to cash out, Stuart. Now I'm waiting for Uber because I think that's a disruptive yeah. company. I'd, like, I'd love to be on. It's able amazing, to own a isn't that company? It's yeah, just it amazing. I, I want to own a piece of it, and a lot of small investors want to own a piece of it, and uh, I like the opportunity. I'm yeah, they've got this new company that does these uh, does snacks and stuff now inside Uber and Lyft and all these others. I mean, mm -hmm. this is just the cottage industry growing like mad. Okay, you love it, don't you? I know you love I it. I do. Check the I price do. of oil. The Saudis uh, say they're going to cut oil exports in August to the lowest level of the year. Yeah. Uh, now we're at 46 bucks per barrel, up a dollar. What do you say to this, Liz? Well, they basically also, the U.S. could be displacing Kuwait and Nigeria as one of the world's uh, biggest oil exporters. Uh, they could hit the top 10 ranking there. Uh, and so, you know, this is the oil and gas uh, revolution in the United States that Donald Trump has hastened, right, with Keystone, and that is giving a lot of agita to Iran and Russia. Now we're going to get oil numbers at uh, 8, uh, sorry, at 10 30 this morning, mm -hmm. how much oil we got in storage, how much gasoline have we used, that might make a difference to the price of gas and the price of oil. 10.30 this morning, we got it. The, the real story here, though, is that the U.S. rig count has doubled from last year, yes. even though oil prices are only $46 a barrel, and that is Saudi Arabia's problem, that's OPEC's problem, because U.S. producers have figured out how to produce uh, at a lower cost. With and new technology. That's, that's right. It. And so, yeah, but I mean, the amazing thing is, even in a year's time, they have been able to break down, uh, bring down their, their break-even level so dramatically. They have. So we can continue to roll out. Incre the good news is there is incre incremental demand. Demand is growing and eventually these things will uh, even up. You can take oil out of the Permian mm -hmm. Basin in Texas mm -hmm. at $25 a barrel. That's your and cost of production. Oil. And you can sell it too. for 46 as we speak. Right. That's a profit margin yeah, you can live right. with. Yes. And right. you keep on producing at that's that right. point. That's exactly sure do. Right. right. Now how about this? Tesla says it's going to roll out 350 additional service vans to offer convenient repairs at customers' work or home. Mm. I don't see any problem. Well, with it's before the Model 3 rolls out, and there's been a lot of complaints that people have a big, chunky monthly payment for their expensive Tesla cars. Some people waiting months on end to get their Teslas fixed. So now we're going to have a total of 480 service. It's Tesla's own geek squad out to fix the cars and 100 more service centers to take care of those problems. Okay. Here's the reason what, for most of today's rally. The Federal Reserve, Janet Yellen, chairs it. She's going to say in about 20 minutes' time that the Federal Reserve is ready to shrink its balance sheet. Now, let's cut through the jargon. That means they're going to start selling some of the $4.5 trillion worth of bonds that they have in their Federal Reserve. Art Laffer, you like this, don't you? I like it very, very much. It's, what it's really doing is it's reversing... Uh, it's a reducing the whole expansion of the monetary base they did in, in QE1, QE2, QE3, which was very ill thought through then. And it's now going to reverse that damage, and I think it's going to be very bullish for the economy. It's been a long time since I saw interest rates go up 
and the market responds with a rally. But Don't it's get supposed to be that way, Stuart. It is the real return. The, the, the tips yield is the expected real return on a unit of capital over the period of the instrument. And without a 4% or 3% tips yield, you cannot have a bull market. Okay, D.R. Barton, come into this, please. Am I right in saying that a large part of this rally is because of the Janet Yellen and the Federal Reserve? Oh, you're absolutely right, but I think there's a little nuance here, Stuart, that we have to understand. It's because her pre uh, her pre Humphrey Hawken testimony m remarks were released, and they're a bit dovish. They're saying they're going to do exactly what you just mentioned. They're going to start unwinding that balance sheet, but they're going to push it off a little bit into the future. Is what the statements were saying. That's what's gotten the market excited, not the fact that they're going to do the unwinding, which, as Art said, they have to do, but the markets just say, oh, whoo, not right now, thank goodness. Yes, they, she says, uh, she is going to say in about 18 minutes' time, that they will shrink the balance sheet appreciably eventually, okay? So that's what we it's want like to hear. It's like the Chinese reining in their carbon emissions <laughs> eventually. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard this kind of language before. Yes. <laughs> if she had turned around and said, oh, we're going to sell a lot real fast, that market oh, would go down, yes, presumably. Would, yeah, would. European it, banks would be uh, already on the, they're already on the edge. I mean, the bond market is really tricky right now. It, okay. it is interesting because Jamie Dimon yesterday was talking in Europe about how disruptive this could be. So I think people really don't know how to, how, what to expect. It is uncertain. I want to ask this question. Is this also a plus for the market? We hear that the National Economic Council director, Gary Cohen, is the president's top pick to replace Janet Yellen as chair of the Fed. What's your response to that, Art Laffer? Because he is a Democrat. Well, I don't think it's a matter of Democrat or Republican. I think Gary Cohn is one of the real prize catches for the Trump administration. Mm -hmm. he, he is a phenomenal person to be head of the NEC, and I think it would be great for him to be at the Fed and chairman of the Fed for a long period. I think he's a very clear-thinking uh, person who really wants nothing but prosperity. Uh, thanks, Art. I was distracted yeah. momentarily by the size of this rally, up 127 <laughs> points. <laughs> I regret to say, isn't it wonderful, Stuart? Yes, that, yes. I mean, it, it's so much fun being in a bull market. You almost feel smart. You know, <laughs> I, 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 you know I, I came into work this morning real early, and it was all Russia, Russia, Russia. <laughs> Donald yeah. Trump Jr. emails, a Russian lawyer. Oh, yeah. you'd have thought yeah. the market would go down, but no. We got a huge rally on the back of the Fed and the back of Amazon. Etc. Etc. And, uh, you're and right, on the back I, I of Russia it. too, by the and way. Back of it Russia. doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> the economy. It's the as, as James Carville said. It's the economy. Stupid. That's what it is. Yes. Yes. Maybe yes. it's also because Congress is staying Art, in place for a while. Uh, Liz, uh, Art, DR, that scares me. Get a word in edgewise. Thank you very much to you all. <laughs> They're an active day yes. today. I'm telling you. All right. Summarize it. We're up 129 points on the Dow.